Chapter 2 of my uh, collection video, starting with the James Bonds. These are these Circuit City uh, uh, box sets that came out back back in the day. I kept these because I prefer these over the uh, what's what's come out come out after. Um, so the, yeah, these are pretty sturdy. They look great. Okay, so James Bond, one through four. And this is uh, shelf four, by the way. And now we're going to see some media books. There you go. That's the King Kong 2005 uh, Everything Blue set. And these are my Kino Lorber or Kino Lorber Studio Classics collection. Just going to do a slow pan across there. These are in, uh, in alphabetical, A to Z, all the Kinos. And the bottom shelf. Beginning with the Diggles. Right. I'm not too crazy about that uniform look of, of the fonts. I kind of wish Aquino had gone with the uh, original title styles fonts. Quite a... Uh, of Kino Library. I'm sure there are people out there who have more. Okay, and this is shelf five. Continuing on with the Kinos. Actually, I have another shelf up here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so we got the latest or the newest version of Iger Sanction. Right. Let me try and minimize that glare. For you guys, that's the top shelf of shelf five. Much of it is taken up by Kino Lorber. Right? That up there is an Event Horizon uh, import collectors, a DVD collector set. Uh, we're all awaiting Screen Factory's release later this year. Okay. That Mad Max 4K looks great. Alright, so... I've got some of these in black cases. Um, And Tough Turf is in a black case. 
I thought that looks really good. And that's the end of my Kino collection. Now I've got a couple of uh, Kill Bill editions from Noma, Nova Media out of South Korea. And one of the steel books is this one here. It's a uh, reticular. And Kill Bill Volume 2. And one of the three steel books contained within. Super. Super duper. Okay. And down here. Oh, wait a minute. I have more. I'm sorry. There's more Kino stuff down there. More Kino stuff. Okay. And the Knight Rider. Blu-ray collection. Logan's run. Oh, Logan. Sorry. Uh, the Hugh Jackman Logan. This is the... Uh, Maniacs box set from Phil Marina out of the Czech Republic. And this is one of the steel books contained within. Or rather the uh, slip cover for one of the, one of the steel books. Alright, so all right, look. continuing there. I'm hoping they come out with Lost in Space Netflix series season two. Uh, that's, that was pretty good. Uh, this is a South Korean edition of Lock Up. It's just an amory case in a slip box. Uh, I really, I really enjoyed the Lone Ranger film. A lot of people seem to not like it. This is a. Best Buy exclusive of Leon. Let the right one in. The original, uh, I think, was it Swedish or Finnish? And then I have the American remake, which was fantastic. I really loved this film. I really loved it. I imported this from the UK. One of my favorite 70s sci-fi thrillers. And this beautiful artwork. And it, sure, it surely beats what uh, Warner came out with. Okay, This is the UK Warner's uh, Lethal Weapon Collection. Uh, these are the recent 4K discs, discs. I decided to keep keep them in this, in this box set because it's a lot sturdier than... Uh, that flimsy cardboard thing that uh, Warner released. This is an imp another import, Lord Jim. It's a French company. Wild side. Oh, yeah. Living Dead at Manchester Morgue. A really nice steel book from Synapse right there. Legend of Bogey Creek. I have an extra copy of this. If anyone is interested, send me a little uh, message or whatever, and I'll get it to you. Uh, Last American Virgin, one of my favorite 80s teen sex films. This is a media book. And my Little House on the Prairie collection, all nine seasons. Uh, I was depressed when it, it looked like uh, Lionsgate didn't, didn't want to continue the series after, I think, season seven. But thankfully, uh, they did relent. Lolita, the uh, Adrian Line version. This is a German import. Good movie. If not a little controversial. Right. This is uh, supposed to be out on 4K sometime this year. This is a Zavi exclusive. Not bad. Minimalist couple copies of Looper. 
This is the uh, Mondo version, I believe. No, I'm sorry. That's the. This is it. Entertainment One, not the UK. This is the Mondo version. They're both quite lovely. All right, and one of my prized possessions is the Melancholia Plain Archive. Um, beautiful, beautiful set. Beautiful set from Plain Archive. Long out of print. Uh, probably going for a pretty penny if you're trying to look for that on eBay. I mean, Vice TV series and a machete three steelbook collection. That's how it looks like. And one of the three steelbooks contained within the Lenti. Okay. And the French steelbook of Machete Kills. Fun, fun movies. Another edition of Melancholia from Plain Archive. This one's just a... It's an, another MRA. It's not a steelbook. And I've got a Maze Runner collection going on here. Love these movies. Film Arena. Steelbook. Scorch Trials, my favorite. From Kimchi DVD out of South Korea. And my least favorite, but still quite enjoyable, Death Curse. It's backwards for some reason. Okay, it's a lenticular. And I'm not much into animation, uh, but I did pick up Moana. Uh, I've got a I got three versions of the film Moon. I've got the South Korean um, South Korean uh, regular Amaray in a key, uh, slip slip box. I've got a German steelbook. And of course the 4K release. Great movie. Another Synapse winner, Massacre at Central High. The only version of Milena available worldwide that I know of, uncut. Uh, this is Milena uncut. Great movie. And moving on here, Magnificent Seven. That's a Blu-ray in a DVD case. So there you go. And down here, some Dark Force titles. Yeah. Ultimate Matrix Blu ray, uh, sorry, 4K collection. Actually, that is, that's a Blu ray collection, but the first film, there's a 4K disc in it. Yeah. And Mad Max. Premium uh, Steelbook Edition. There are three Steelbooks in there. And this is one of them. Particular. And I've got French Steelbooks of World Warrior and Thunderdome. One of my favorite 80s horror movies, The Monster Club. Okay. Okay. Of course. And then the bottom shelf of shelf five. Okay. Bottom shelf of shelf five.
beginning of my Mondo collection. At the bottom there. Okay, that's shelf five and on to shelf six. Continuing with the Mondo theme out there. Right. My Mondo collection is somewhat uh, limited, but uh, uh, now that I know about them, know uh, more about them, I'm going to seek out more of their stuff. Okay. Top shelf. Shelf six. There. I'm glad I have this uh, Joby uh, gizmo here. Without this thing, I never would have been able to get up there comfortably. Show this to you guys. All right. This is No Escape. It's a film that has eluded U.S. Uh, labels so far. Hopefully that'll change. Okay. And continuing on. Um, I'm going to have to cut this short in a couple minutes because I am running out of space on my phone. Okay. Nightcrawler from Nova Media. This is the Eureka, Night of the Creeps. All right. I did an unboxing of that Oblivion uh, set from Everything Blue a couple days ago. If you guys are interested. Okay. And uh, now my Planet of the Apes shrine. And these are, this is Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I'm sorry, it's the original, no, it's the Planet of the Apes uh, remake. This is the sequel, Dawn. And, of course, the best in the series, in my opinion, War for the Planet of the Apes. Awesome film. Really enjoyable. And, okay, Prince of Darkness, Studio Canal 4K, this is Passengers, Steelbook version, and a bit of a Pulp Fiction collection here, and Prometheus, and the U.S. release, and An import, steelbook import, Spectre, and one of my versions of Raid. All right, this is gonna be uh, cutting out any minute, so I'm gonna leave you leave it. At, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'll see you guys in chapter three. Take care.